Good afternoon, Bison Nation. Welcome to Season 3 of X-Ray and he's keeping up the herd outside the park. I'm your host, William Soto, and I'm here with Jacob Webb. Jacob Webb is from Fairborn, Ohio. He went to Fairborn High School. Uh, he also played at Sinclair Community College, along with going to Miami of Ohio. How are you doing today, Jacob? Good, man. How are you doing? Doing great. So glad to get this opportunity. It's, we're in a weird spot. We're in Canal Park here in Akron, Ohio. The Portland Sea Dogs are here uh, making the trip. And obviously getting to Portland is going to be slim to none, but coming to Akron, being in Ohio, it's a beautiful opportunity. So Jacob, how did it feel getting drafted by the Boston Red Sox? You know, what was that feeling like knowing that, oh my gosh, I, I'm living my dream, I'm, I'm going to go play for the Red Sox? Yeah, no, it was definitely probably one of the better experiences of my life. Um, it was definitely, uh, it was something that I was kind of, you know, uh, I thought was going to happen. Like I, something that I dreamed was going to happen like over the past couple years before. So, uh, but it, no, it was definitely a blessing to get picked up by such a, you know, historic organization. Yeah. And so, yeah. Especially, too, you know, one day that you could be at Family Park. And be, yeah. I, I've been there and I've seen the monster, but like, I think pitching in person, I, I wonder if it's going to be a little relief one day to know that you have that security blanket because that sure. ball is most likely coming back unless yeah. you got standing up to bat. Then it might be gone. Yeah. But, um, and then how's it been so far? You know, you've been with Salem and Greenville and now with Portland. You know, how's that experience been going through the minor leagues so far? Yeah, it's been a, uh, it's been quite like a interesting um, uh, journey so far. Um, especially last year, like playing for three different teams. You know, I felt like I was wasn't in the same spot yeah. for like more than like two months. Which at the same time, it's kind of cool. It means that you're like moving through the organization yeah. and stuff. But uh, but no, last year was a blast. Um, especially the first year of uh, professional baseball, it was definitely a, a memorable one. And then to top it off. Got to go play in Arizona Fall League at the end of the year. So with the Scottsdale Scorpions, right? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. How, yeah. Was, how was that too? Because I mean, it's it, how was that league compared to playing in with in the MILB? Um, it's def you could definitely tell like a lot of the guys that were that were there like could definitely play and will probably be playing at the you know yeah. in the in the big leagues here soon. So uh, no, it was an awesome experience and uh, was able to do pretty well out there. So. And that's all you can ask for, right? Yeah. I mean, you just want to continue to build, continue to build, because you want to be able to grow. You want to be able to show the Red Sox, like, hey, like, yeah. I'm legit. I'm here to prove myself. Because, you know, so far, you, you had a decent 2023 campaign. Obviously, we're only in the beginning of May, so it's a short little sample size. But you've been able to be consistent. You're going out there getting outs. And then with that, you know, what type of pitcher are you? Are you looking to strike people out? Are you wanting that ground ball to fly? Like, what is, what are you going to the Red Sox and saying, hey, man, this is what I bring that you don't have that you yeah, so, I mean, I would say I'm trying to be more of a, right now, I'm trying to just throw strikes, really. I'm trying to get the ball over the plate, and whether they strike out or fly out around that, I doesn't really, I don't really care. As long as, I, as long as I'm getting them out, it's, that's all I care about. Um, I mean, last year, I would say I was definitely more of a strikeout pitcher, um, but uh, in the early stages of this year, it seemed to be more... No, I'll just take my outs anyway yeah. I can get them. So, hey, I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, that's really what matters most. But, hey, yeah. you know, with people throwing different stuff, you never know, right? Yeah. Um, sure. And then going back to, you know, the Ohio Bison being a summer collegiate league, we also have youth organizations. You started at Sinclair, moved into Miami, Ohio. You know, what would you tell somebody who's in your shoes to say, hey, like, just because you start small, you can still dream big? Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, um, me coming, like, when I was in high school, I was originally committed to go play at Toledo, University of Toledo, and uh, I ended up not having the grades to play uh, NCAA, whatever, Division One, whatever. I couldn't play any D1, D2, D3. Um, so I ended up going to Sinclair, and then what I did was just, like, I had the mindset of just making sure that I, I make the most out of what this is, and then uh, I did, and then it ended up working out pretty well for me, and it ended up probably being, like, the biggest blessing in disguise probably ever. So I, like, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, yeah. The way, like the route that I had to take to get here. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, I think once I got to Miami, I then figured out like what it takes to like, you know, work, like what it actually working hard is mm -hmm. and like what it takes to play at that next level. And then it just kind of skyrocketed me. So like what I tell kids is just no matter what happens, just always like, Think ahead, you know. Don't don't kind of uh, dwell on like the bad stuff that's kind of happened to you in the past. You know, just kind of make the most of what you got and just 
these are the four of them. So. Exactly. And I think I, I've said this multiple times, and you know, it, I think it's the honest got truth. When they hear it, when people hear stuff from a professional player instead of mom and dad, I think it's sticks with them. And that's yeah. so true to hear that when they are the ones saying this is what you should do, it just sticks with them, and then they could have you yeah. know, a very similar truth to what you have. For sure. Well, Bison Nation, I hope you enjoy this episode. Uh, follow this man's career. His name is Jacob Webb. He's going to do great things one day. And we hope you have a safe and healthy 2023 season. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep.